we got a Shoemaker 1500 amp lithium jump starter. And we have got a car with a dead battery. We got the jump starter right here. We're going to go in and check out the inside of the van. And I will show you that the battery is dead and how nice these things are. You don't need to get a 1500 amp. They got the smaller ones. This one actually is designed to start even the 10 point liter gas or the 8 liter diesel. It's got a lot of oomph. A little more than what you need for your regular cars. But this little van right here. It's got power where it's got enough to make the, when you shove the key in to make it. But let's go ahead and turn that key over. Hear that? Turn the radio off. You can also hear it. Don't just put up with them. They're, they're in camp. That radio doesn't shut off. Hear that? Just, just clicks. So. It's playing. Which is What's crazy on. radio. And then enough power to shut it off, I guess. <laughs> Every time I turn the key, the radio starts. Interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and go up there and hook up that battery jumper or booster. Okay. They, have, they come with an on-off switch. And this one here, you use USB cords to charge it. You plug it in right there to charge it. You can actually charge your cell phone with it. And this one here has a air compressor. So you can charge. I don't know how long. I haven't tried one of those yet. Probably take quite a while to fill up a flat tire. Let's go ahead. Make sure that switch is off. So when you hook these up, you're not going to get any spark. Oops. Make sure the red goes on. I'm trying to do this with one hand is kind of a pain. Switch hands. Alright. Click it on there. Red one goes on the red cable or the positive. And the black one goes on the negative. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and hit the switch back up a little bit. Old batteries, you know. Usually you don't have problems with these as long as you, um, when you have problems is like when you're jumping from another vehicle. When they're charged and you're putting them on there, if there's a short or something, then you can have some issues. But this one right here, once you get it hooked up, then you can just get step back a foot and put your finger on the switch and click it. There we go. And the box itself, you hear it click. Okay. Let's go ahead and get inside the van and check this out. This is that 1500 amper, so it's going to give it a heck of a boost. Let's go on inside. The dinger even sounds louder. Turn it over. Hear things kicking over. Oh, listen to that. So, yeah, those things range anywhere from, those jump starters range anywhere from First, let's go ahead and go up here and connect it. Turn the switch off. And then disconnect your cables. One thing with a lot of cars, you gotta be careful. You got your fan belts and stuff down there, so you don't wanna get near the fan belts when you're doing this. But these things range anywhere from $50 up to a hundred some dollars. And if they sit so it's actually a really good um, warranty to have in your vehicle as a backup, especially if you're going on a road trip or something. You definitely should have something like this, especially if you have an older vehicle. Anyway, this is this thing works great. We've used it several times, like in this situation here. I could have went to my um, other vehicles and hooked up the jumper cables, but. It's so much easier to use something like this. And you gotta remember every 
two or three, four months to make sure you plug these in. If they're sitting idle and you're not using the charger, that you want to hook it up and make sure it's fully charged because they do go down a little bit after a while. But it fired this engine right up. Doesn't run very well, but <laughs> it works. So yeah, there you can get those down. You can get them on sale around 40 bucks. These ones here, this exact one, this 1500 amp is like $80. It's an exp more expensive one, but they have like a 750 amp, which is fine for average size cars. But, oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and. It died on me, and I went inside and turned the key over, so, and it started right up, so means the alternator is actually working which means it's shoving juice into the battery right now but the battery is not holding the charge for very long so it needs a new battery but we're getting rid of this vehicle so anyway yes it's always a good idea to have one of those jump starters just make sure you keep it charged it doesn't work if it's not charged we charge this thing probably about every three the four months I put it in the house and it's usually gone down just a little bit. It was still sort of vehicle, but I always want to have them in tip top shape. Alright, thanks for watching. And this Schumacher brand or Shoemaker, however you pronounce that, I got this at Walmart. And it's it's the big boy. It's it does the 10 liter in or gas engine or an 8 liter diesel, so most people don't need one that big, but since I use it for multiple vehicles, 